Now we have an application with the capabilities and functionality well-defined as intense to our spec. We'll now add tests and documentation to my application. We want to add tests and documentation to our project so that it's a robust implementation of our spec. We'll ask the agent to solidify our app by generating docs and tests. You can see a plan file is created that will go through these various stages. Our spec already has a list of capabilities, so really it's about making sure those are runnable test scenarios that we can run to validate that the generated code adheres to the spec. Now the tests have been generated, we can run them all, and Tessa will cycle automatically through the test failures, fixing them either by altering the spec to be clearer, the tests to ensure they're valid test cases, or by rebuilding the code to ensure it adheres to the specification. We'll speed up this cycle for the sake of this video, but it looks like we've reached a stage where the majority of our core tests are passing, and I can continue iterating through the rest either with an agent or manually to achieve full coverage. In our spec file, we see the capabilities have all been retained, but they now have matching test cases across various test files. You can click through to see the test files on the file system to validate and ensure you have the coverage you need. Since these are Vitus files, you can run them manually if you so choose. The tests are grouped by file for each capability in the same way you might do currently. Additionally, we can see that a plan file exists, which captured all the activity and actions that occurred during our last session with Claude Code. We now have a robust spec-centric application that uses TESOL specs. Next up, let's turn it into an Express server.